welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be harvesting from the yellow flow hive. Now, I've been waiting a whole year to do this. I did this last year and got a little bit of honey out of it. But this year, the bees have filled it up. However, in the last two weeks, and it's been two weeks since I've actually harvested uh, frames from the medium boxes out here. I guess it was the last video where I got stung a lot um, because the weather got bad. We had a lot of rain, overcast days. It just didn't seem right. But when I came back out here and looked in the back of the flow hive on the back of it, it looks like the bees have been removing honey from the flow hive. I think they may be moving it down to the lower boxes. So I want to get in there and get what I can while I can. Uh, so with all that said, let's get into the video and have a look. I guess we'll start in the middle. That's a good place as any. We're just going to go in about a third of the way. Ooh. Okay, well this is really turning out to be a bust. Only got a half a jar. I've got uh, two cups of honey out of this one frame. That frame was almost com that was one of the first frames completed by the bees, but they've been they've been moving the stores. They're moving their stores down to these bottom two boxes, closer to the brood nest, I think. So we're going to go ahead and move over. Let's see if we get more out of this one. Go in one third and give her a shot. Now this frame seems to be flowing a lot better. I don't know whether it's because it's closer to the edge where the sun has been hitting it or whether it's just got more honey left in it. I can tell you this, I'm kind of disappointed in this harvest. I've been looking forward to it all season. I had uh, great expectations of this flow hive this year. Specifically after my last inspection, when I saw that these frames were full and two-thirds of the way capped, I figured, okay, wait a second, these girls are going to be done pretty soon capping it, we're ready to go, but instead of finishing, they've been moving the honey. But uh, that tells me that we're, uh, we're headed into dearth, and we won't have any other flow of any significance, with the exception of the fall flow this year, and the fall flow last year was, was minimal, very small. It wasn't at all what I was expecting. A look at the front of the hive and make sure the bees aren't reacting adversely. I've seen some flow videos where people were harvesting and the bees were all over the front of the hive. And I think that happens when you do your first harvest and simultaneously open the frame in its entirety all at once. And I think a lot of honey spills down into the hive, which causes a uh, evacuation of sorts. I don't think that's happening here. Let's look. It's like these girls don't even know that it's going on. They absolutely do not care. Well, I'm sure they care. But they are not showing any stress at all from this harvest taking place and their honey being removed from the box. I'm really late to the game on this harvest. I should have harvested this uh, last week or possibly the week before. Well, I guess we learn as we go. Next year, I'm not going to wait so long to harvest this. I think I will harvest it the minute I see that they're two-thirds capped at least and that the fronts of all of these frames in this box are full because I've been watching it all week and, and every day. There's less and less honey showing on the front of each one of these frames, which means the bees are moving it. They're certainly moving it down here and down here. They're trying to get closer to the brood chamber. And uh, I think if I go into these boxes, I'm going to find this honey. They've been moving it around. Okay, we're going to call this half gallon full. I'm going to go ahead and replace this jar. Another one. There we go. We will cap that one and move it aside. Ooh, 
but it was hard to uh, it was hard to open. Let's see if there's anything on the inside of that frame. Okay. Well, it appears that they've only cleaned out one side of that frame. And there's quite a bit of honey on the other side. And because I opened this up full bore, on the first go, I'm going to look at the front of the hive and just make sure that there's nothing dripping down there and the bees aren't flipping out. It still looks fantastic. Everybody is calm. And that honey is flowing really nicely because that's on the side of the box and it's been heated by the sun. So it is pouring really nice compared to the first frame. My assumption is these bees are having kind of a crisis inside of the hive right now. What strikes me as odd is that it hasn't been communicated down below because on the front of this hive, the bees are calm. They're just going about their business as usual. But looking through the back of the hive, there's a lot of activity around these frames. Through the window, the bees on the side of the hive, they are trying to figure out what's going on. Now, they've already pulled their honey from this side of the frame. But uh, they're still trying to figure it out. They're wondering, hey, what happened to our honeycomb? It's not supposed to look like this. But you can see the configuration of the comb once the flow hive is engaged. Now we're going to move over to this frame. jar down here. We may need another one here in a minute. Okay, these girls, these girls are on to me. They are on to me. They smell the honey. They smell it. Crisis, crisis, crisis. Huge spill. We had a honey spill. Oh no. Crisis. Okay. Let's see here. Wipe up this honey before these bees start getting everywhere. whether you can notice or not but there's also probably about 10 bees flying around the jar in the back of the flow hive whereas in the beginning there were none and I think that's because the minute I let honey spill these girls can smell it they know they know they're out here and there's a couple of logs around here where I've wiped my fingers after pulling up some of this honey that I've spilled and they're licking the bark. I mean, they're doing everything they can to recover every drop of honey and it's amazing how well their sense of smell works. Now, I'll be honest and say that I'm very disappointed in this flow hive extraction. I didn't get near as much honey as I expected. I expected to get about three gallons and it looks like I'm going to get about half of that by the time it's all done. It doesn't mean that the honey's not there, and it doesn't mean that they didn't store it in there. It just means that I'm late to harvest. I should have harvested this box two weeks ago, and I didn't. Instead, I waited and waited and waited and did the Langstroth uh, extraction first. And I really should have done the, uh, the Flow Hive extraction first. That way we could have uh, walked away with more honey. All right, let's go on to the next frame. I've 
got a bee inside there. I was trying to get the the great shot. That bee is in there trying to. Even the smallest of pollinators are out here looking for nectar. That's that. We are going to try to save this bee. Right, and the unfortunate bee that fell in the honey jar, I picked her out and put her on the landing board, and she is covered in honey right there, and she is alive, and the girls are cleaning her off, so she is going to be fine, which means that no bees were harmed during the making of this video. All right, well... Here you have it. I didn't get as much honey as I thought I was going to get. I got uh, about a gallon and a half. Uh, these are half gallon jars. I was hoping for about three gallons. I've been looking forward to it all year long, but I think I waited too long to harvest. Uh, if I would have harvested this honey maybe two, three weeks ago, I probably would have gotten three gallons and the bees would have started filling up the flow frames again. Unfortunately, I waited too long and now we're headed into dearth and I think the bees specifically after my last harvest of the medium boxes, I think the bees are moving the honey from the flow hive down closer to the brood chamber. So it is what it is. We'll try again next year. I'll uh, let the bees reseal these and get these into the freezer and then I'll store them for the, for the, uh, for the season. So do me a favor, if you like this video, hit the like button below. If you have something to say, leave me a comment. And by all means, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of my new content. And with all that said, I want you to be happy. I'm going to be happy. I've got another gallon and a half of honey I'm going to add to the stockpile up in the, uh, up in the house. I'm going to be happy. You'll be happy and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.